Hello and welcome to this new kind of factory, which is uh, from the Piano Dance mod. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I just wanted to quickly show this base, and there are a few very complicated recipes involved in this, and the start of the game is quite tedious, so I didn't want to show any of that. Oh, I still wanted to figure it all out, and then you would just have me, you would have seen me thinking for hours. So I uh, basically had a little starter base there with some copper and iron and other resources, and produced some science. And now I'm about to, with the help of these advanced foundries. I'm uh, producing more and more iron and copper, and then I'm about to build a great bus that's going to the north, and I really try to uh, be sort of consequent about the idea of the bus and try not to do too many things next to each other, except for maybe these things that I don't need as much hopefully. Um, there is a lot of big machines involved that you need quite a lot of because they produce not enough of the stuff that you need, so like these raw coal uh, consuming machines produce a little bit of coal gas and tar, which you then can use in these glass works as fuel, as liquid fuel, in order to burn quartz to molten glass, which I then need for other things. Because in this uh, mod, you actually need glass bottles to make science packs, which uh, in the normal game just look like glass bottles but aren't. And then you have things like uh, these quite big farms, which are actually seaweed crop facilities. And there you can actually farm seaweed, but you actually also need seaweed to make this happen a bit faster. And you just gain seaweed by harvesting it from a lake, and then you can also Harvest fish, I guess. I have to see whether I can actually put fish in there. I can't, cannot do this. But in other things I can. I could actually, or I have actually put fish into electric miners. Which uh, make it mine a bit faster, except of course if the storage is already full, but in this case it happens, so without any real modules I can just uh, improve the speed of this mining drill. So I get more of this raw coal, or in this case copper, and there are some furnaces that need some fuel, which I'm still providing manually. Then I can get actually some of this raw coal used. And there are quite early game electric furnaces, which are these foundries. In this case, this is already full. Copper isn't used much in the beginning, I think. Uh, however, iron is used a lot. All these machines are just not quick. Or let's say I don't have enough iron ore. But I think I will fix this later. I guess there's a huge iron patch up there. Don't really know if any of these patches are iron ore. So molybdenum ore and tin ore, raw borax. I think I could mine that already with something. I think you need syn gas for that, which I could produce from coal gas or something like that. But yeah, I think uh, this mod pack is really 
quite a challenge and I don't really think I will uh, record everything of that but I might uh, record some parts of it from time to time if I find anything interesting I like the fact that you can put uh, seaweed in electric miners to make it faster yeah and there's a lot of um, really difficult bottlenecks to deal with like the fact that molten glass isn't produced uh, that much because it needs a lot of this fuel and I hope I can improve this fuel production and also there's this sodium alginate that I need to get from somewhere I guess I'm still not providing every factory automatically with the ingredients that they need. There's just a chest that I regularly fill with stone, or as regularly as I can, which then means that it stops for some time. But then there's this uh, research center which produces the first science packs, and I hope that I can use the same research center later to produce other science packs which then feed into these little labs which you are probably used to. Also there's this microorganism mine which basically just makes these petri dishes go uh, living or makes life in them. And there's this process that produces limestone from water or soil from water. Probably just washes out everything that's not water. And quite early in the game there are a lot of these... Uh, no, these uh, mining processes that involve certain liquids or gases in this case it is steam to mine tin ore. I think you need that quite early even to build the first machines to craft something. I guess this might be empty so I will just replace it here. This uses coal gas to mine aluminum ore. I need to reinsert the fish or in this case I will use some seaweed to not waste too much fish because I'm not sure yet whether I can reproduce fish automatically. And there you can see all the weird things you can put in a furnace or in this case in an advanced foundry. I don't really know when I will have these more like mushroom looking things or whatever a Schrödinger's antelope is. Guess I will have to figure that out. And this also looks quite weird and interesting. Don't really know how I can harvest it later. Bio reserves, which is a, a resource you can probably mine at some point, but not with hand and I guess not with a miner as well. You need a collector. Okay, I just pressed Q on the mining thing. And I guess I need to figure out how I can uh, actually craft that. Looks like some weird drone flying over some area and I can now also show you the research tree which is quite heavy quite a lot of things to do and some of the researchers don't seem to really matter I guess this logistic science pack I don't know if this unlocks anything I guess it's just a well 
left over from the basic vanilla game which wasn't really used in the mod pack and I recently researched botany one which should allow me to produce wood automatically which at the moment is quite a big bottleneck I think I wanted to search for biotech with a B so there's quite a lot of things this unlocks for instance the collector and I guess I could even I could just put it on the thing just to have it and it has another way to produce cellulose which uh, is a bottleneck for me because it uses wood normally and in this case as well but I will try to play this mod pack even more whenever I have a head that is ready for this kind of complicated mod. I guess the start was uh, quite complicated because at the start there was just a little of this sap or of these sap seeds. No, it was I guess the sap. I had to harvest a lot of trees to get a little bit of sap to then start this process of I guess creating sap seeds and then with that I had to make these trees sap trees in this case and these machines only actually worked quick enough whenever there were sap trees inside them so basically at the beginning it was quite slow and then it probably grew exponentially same with the moss, which I had to harvest from, I guess it was stones, rocks lying around in the landscape. And then I could also increase the amount of moss that I had. I guess it's similar with the seaweed that I had to farm from the lake. But yeah, I guess that's it for now, all I wanted to show. Maybe I will come back with something else out of this Pionodens gameplay. Thank you for watching so far and goodbye.